Courtney Dehoff. I'm in Houston today and I'm looking for the perfect cup of coffee. Let's see what we can find. We're at our first stop of the day. We're at Blendin Coffee Club. I'm going to go in and meet up with Deanne Gates for a cup of coffee. Deanne, what do you usually get when you come here? I normally like getting something different. I order the drip of the day. Nice, hi there. Good morning, hi. how are y'all doing? Good. What's your drip of the day today? Today's gonna be our coffee from Uganda, the Nile. If you want to Great, drink that I'll take one of those. I want to try something new. What do you recommend? So we have an auction lot from Ethiopia called Gesha Village on Chemex is really nice if you want to give that a try. I will take one of those. One drip of the day and one Gesha Village Chemex. Okay, we'll get started on it for you. Thank Sounds you. good, thanks. So Deanne, you've got to tell me a little bit more about this neighborhood. Oh, Sugarland's a great area. It's got that small town feel, but still connected to the big city. Got lots of shopping, lots of restaurants. Oh. Never have to leave Sugarland if you don't want to. You know what? Cheers to that. Let's yes. try this coffee. Oh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Sure, how's the drip? It's great. This is really good. This is just a really cool space, and it's so unique, too. It, it is, and it's also got an art gallery. We should go check it out. Let's do. Okay. Okay, so Deanne and I are hanging out with Nick and Josh in this cool gallery, really cool concept here of seed to cup. So explain that to me and, and talk to me about some of these photos. Yeah, so um, we're actually the photographers of the Blend Coffee Club as well as baristas. And we actually use this exhibition to really highlight the traceability that we have at the shop, specifically from Brazil and Serra da Mineira, the largest producing coffee region in the world. Yeah, we tried to create a relationship with the farmers that was absolutely extraordinary. We got to visit their homes, go through their farms, they got to show us pretty much anything and everything that we needed to know about, like coffee and processing. It was just beautiful to see that harmony between family and business and like have their dreams come true. It's time for cup number two. I'm in Rice Village at Fellini Cafe and I'm meeting up with Margaret because Margaret, you're a little bit of an expert on this place. I am, I've been here three times this week. So you obviously love it. What's your favorite part about Fellini? Well, Fellini's is true Italian authentic espresso and it's just so good. And it's in a really great neighborhood as well. It is, I mean, we're in Rice Village and surrounding Rice Village are three wonderful neighborhoods, all of which have walking distance to Rice Village and Fellini's. Well, you know what? I think you and I should walk into Fellini and get a great cup of coffee. What do you uh, think? I would love that. Let's go. Italy is one of my favorite countries. And when I walk in here, I kind of feel like I'm back there. Well, you know, everything behind the counter is authentic Italian. I love espresso. I don't even know how it's made, but I always order it. Well, you know, I know Marcel behind the counter. Maybe he can show us. Oh my gosh, that'd be great. I let's know, go. let's go ask. Courtney, I'm going to introduce you to Marcel, who's going to show us how to make an espresso Hi, shot. Marcel. Let's get right into it. Okay, so usually we start with the filter. We're going to grab this mm -hmm. and go ahead and take it, actually. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. Okay. So, here. yeah, right there, and then the double shot. Oof, right, right to the top? Yeah, right there, and then we're going to stamp it. What does stamping it do? Stamping it really just compresses the coffee, so when the hot water comes in, Okay. It filters out the coffee nicely. How long does this take? Probably about 25 seconds around there. That's what a good espresso shot takes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add milk to it. That's going to make the latte. But the espresso is really what makes a cup of coffee. And those sounds that you hear, that's the air coming into the milk actually creating the foam. So it's important when we do a latte and especially when you're trying to do art, that you start from high up and pour into the center. So that's what we're gonna do right here. You are a pro, Marcel. We're here at stop number three. You'd think as much coffee as I'd had, I'd be on time, but Houston traffic, am I right? Steven's already inside, and I think he already ordered for me. Let's go see what he got. 
Hi, Steven. Hey, how are you? Good, I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for the invite. A second cup is huge, and this is kind of one of your go-to spots. It is, it's where I bring my daughters at the weekend. We bring our little wagon and get them some apple slices, and I get a nice cup of coffee. Well, have you ordered yet? I did, I got you something special. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Okay, tell me a little bit more about this community. I'm assuming you live in the Heights? I do, yeah, just a short walk away. Uh, this community was founded back in the 1920s, and lots of charm and character here, and still the same as it was back then. It looks like such a cool area. I think I see our drinks coming. I can't wait to see what you ordered. So I got you a split shot. Hi, this looks great. Thank you. Thank you. You should sit down and tell us a little bit yeah. about these drinks. Yeah, hi, I'm Courtney. Hi, I'm Erica. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Erica. Uh, what is this? Yeah, so this is our split shot, and it is special because we have a special drink every single month, and this month it's a chamomile tea shaken with agave and then topped with fresh squeezed blood orange juice. And the reason it's special is because we use it to support organizations that we work with. And this month it is Children at Risk, and they do advocacy work with all children's issues, and one of them being uh, human trafficking. Thank you so much for sharing this story on the split shot. And Stephen, thank you for inviting me into one of your family's local favorite spots for here in the Heights and sharing a drink with me. Our fourth and final stop of the day brings us to the Woodlands. I'm getting ready to check out Third Gen. Welcome to the Woodlands. Thank you. It is a beautiful day in the Woodlands. It is. And isn't this a great spot? You can walk here, you can bike here. Absolutely. Should we get some coffee? Let's do it. Okay. Hi. Hi guys. Hey Marlon. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Marlon, I would like a cappuccino. Cappuccino? What are you going to have? I'm going to have the usual. An Americana for here. Yes sir. All right. We'll be right out. Thank, right, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. have our coffees. Tell me a little bit more about the Woodlands. Oh, the Woodlands is so wonderful for families. It has excellent public schools. It has a nationally recognized outdoor pavilion. It's just a wonderful place to live. And this wonderful coffee shop, which you obviously come to often, you know Marlon. Uh, tell me a little bit about this place. Well, Marlon, who checked us out at the register, he is a third generation coffee farmer, oh my just gosh. like his grandfather and father before him. That is amazing. I think we should go ask him a little bit more about this. I'm really intrigued. Let's find Marlon. Okay. So Marlon, Monica tells me you are a third generation coffee farmer. What does that mean? That's right. We harvest coffee every year, green, and this is how it looks like. We bring this coffee to the States and we roasted down here in Tombaugh, Texas. I don't think wow. I knew coffee beans were green. I yeah, certainly did And that's didn't. before roasting, and this is the way they look once they're roasted. That, that's what you normally see at Those I the regular stores. Marlon, where is your farm? It's in Honduras, Honduras, okay. Central America. So why did you decide to open a coffee shop then here the in the Woodlands? It's easier for, uh, for me to fly back and forth. We have an international airport, and uh, we fly back and forth every two months. Wow, that's amazing. We've been to four great coffee shops in four awesome neighborhoods today. I'm Courtney Dehoff for Martha Turner Sotheby's International Realty. Until next time.